This video shows you how to use Serif Support Portal. From here, you can access a range of materials designed to answer your questions, help you get the most out of the software, and assist with any problems you may be experiencing. You can access this portal by typing the website's address, support.serif.com, into your browser, for example, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome search bar. Alternatively, from Serif's website, you can click Support and Community on the navigation bar and then the link. Here, there are a number of options you can choose from. You can access the knowledge base, which is full of frequently asked questions, how to, and troubleshooting articles for every Serif product, keep up to date with the latest news. Request one-to-one -one support from Serif's customer service or technical support teams by submitting a ticket. Watch video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Visit Serif support on Facebook or Twitter. Discuss the software and put your queries to other Serif users. And finally, find answers out for yourself in the product help. Today, I'll take you on a tour of the knowledge base so you can see just how quick and easy it is to find answers to your questions. First, I'll click the knowledge base to get started. From here, there are two things you can do. Browse by folder or search. To browse, you can click on a folder where you think your answer might be located. We'll look at the search option later. The first folder you'll see is customer service. Here you'll find answers to queries about your Serif account, buying, downloading and registering your product, and refunds and returns. In the hardware folder, you'll find anything to do with tablets or other hardware. The non-Serif software folder covers all of the third-party software we sell, like plugins and other programs. The Serif software folder is the heart of the portal. This is where you'll find loads of articles relating to questions that have been asked, how-tos where you can follow the steps to achieve the results yourself, and troubleshooting articles which will help in the unlikely event of you encountering a problem. There isn't just information about the products here though, there is also a whole host of articles about installation, product keys, and the compatibility of Serif software with your computer. Finally. This folder, webplus.net hosting, is full of information about hosting your website with Serif and some helpful tips about handling your web hosting account. Otherwise, if you know exactly what you want to search for, you can use the search feature which can be accessed by clicking here. In the search box, you can type in keywords relating to your search. The folder option is for specifying a folder similar to the ones we looked at earlier. This could narrow down the search. You can choose a folder if you know, for example, what product your query is about. If not, don't worry, you can leave it blank to search all of the folders. The search type option is to decide whether you search for article content, for example keywords, or the article ID which is a unique number identifying each article. Today, I'd like to find out more about cutting out photos, so I'm going to search for cutout. You can see that this search has generated a number of different results. These are clearly displayed under the product names, so you can see which product each article relates to. You can also see the article name, its relevancy to the search, and how many views it has had. To view an article, simply click on its name. This is an example of a generic article. At a first glance, you can see which versions of the product the article applies to. This one applies to Page Plus X3 and any version since. In the articles, there are various things you can do to find out more. In this example, there is a video you can watch which explains all about Cutout Studio and it can be accessed by clicking the link. You can also click to read about cutting out photos in the product help. 
The help is full of useful information and tips to assist you in getting the most out of the product. You may also find links to tutorials which you can complete and then apply to your own projects or simple step-by-step -step instructions which you can follow. To get back to the main search page, you can click the back button in your browser or the links at the top of the article. In the breadcrumbs for this example, I can click page plus to view all of the related articles and then serif software to get back to the folders. I could click to search the knowledge base again if there was something else I wanted some information about or use the links to access other areas of the portal. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed finding out more about the support portal in the knowledge base and how useful it can be for quickly and easily answering your questions. Thanks for watching.